There is no disarray in South African rugby. Forget what happened in Wellington, forget what happened in Sydney. Rustenburg, we keep on saying it, that's where the 21 were, but that's primarily where the starting 15 for the first game against Wales is. I keep on reading, chaos. Peter de Villiers doesn't know who his number 10 is. It is Butch James. He told him that when he came back from Bath. The starting 15 is going to be Franz Stein, J.P. Peterson, Brian Abana, de Villiers, Faree, Butch James, Faree de Pere, Spice will be there, John Smith if he's fit, if not Alberts, Skulkberger, he will be fit, Matfield, Berta, Beast, John Smith will start, Bismarck will come off the bench, and Yanni Dupasi on the tight end. There's no chaos in our game. That is the good news story. We keep on saying it here in South Africa. The key is, do these oldies from 2007, do they have two, three, four big games left in them come September, October in New Zealand? Do they have enough time to go and play in Wales? They have to play in the home leg against Australia and New Zealand. But to say that there's chaos in Springbok rugby, it's a lot of crap. Peter de Villiers, whether you like him, hate him, love him, want to cuddle him, he does have a plan. His plan is investing in those guys who won the World Cup in 2007. He's told them they're going to start the game against Wales. They haven't been involved in the away test. Don't keep on telling me there's chaos in South African rugby. Those boys who are in Rustenburg, they've been training very hard. They have a plan. The key is, can these old guys' bodies cash the checks that their minds want to write?